This is the sixth part in my project to recreate King's Island in Parkitect. Now, my original plan for this video was to recreate the log flume, but as you'll see, I didn't really have any space to work with. So the first order of business for this part is to port everything over to a larger map. Now, I was already working with the largest sandbox map available, so how is this possible? Well, you're able to customize the map size in the scenario editor, with the largest being 500 by 500. So I saved the entire park as a blueprint, and built the blueprint in the scenario editor. Now with that done, I was finally ready to get to work on the log flume, but I ran into another problem. I'm not able to save the scenario unless it has a park entrance. So now, this part's going to be building the park entrance to King's Island. Now in real life, I believe you can find guest services in this building inside the entrance, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to use it as staff buildings. The one on the left is a break room, and the one on the right is a training room. Unfortunately, porting the map from the sandbox editor to the scenario editor introduced new problems. All the changes to the terrain are completely gone. This includes changes to terrain height, water features, and the color of the terrain. I plan on fixing all these changes off camera so it looks like it did before, but for the sake of this video, the terrain looks a little plain. Fun fact, the King's Island Park entrance actually has a restaurant on the top floor in real life, but in this recreation I don't really plan to recreate that. Now I know the park entrance doesn't look great in game, but trust me that's how it looks in real life too. I'm just not a fan of King's Island's park entrance, it's just a big tall ugly building in my opinion, so the ugliness is on purpose. Now I accidentally made the park entrance a lot larger than it would be in person, I think about 40 feet larger, so off camera I'm going to fix that a little bit, so it might look a little different in the next video. Now with the park entrance finished, I work on the sidewalks heading to the parking lot. Here you can see me placing spawn points for the guests. My plan is to have them spawn at the edge of the park and walk all the way through the parking lot and to the park entrance. I'm also going to add a couple spawn points near where Great Wolf Lodge would be in real life so they walk down the sidewalk, past the parking lot, and into the park entrance. Now I've never used the scenario editor so I didn't really understand the land system where you select which parts of land you own and which ones you don't and how to place the park entrance down but after a while I figured that out. Now the parking lot is going to be giant and that's a whole other video in itself, but I'm pretty happy with how the park entrance turned out and I got all the sidewalks done and I got some spawn points in and this gives me a lot more space to work with so I'm really happy with that too. That's all for this part of the project. In the next video I plan to recreate the log flume like I originally intended to, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Like always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.